Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining us today. Well, if you were watching or listening to any media source last month, you probably heard about the tribute to Willie Mays and the historic night at Rickwood Field in Birmingham. Well, fans from all communities were singing and dancing in their seats and the renovated and refurbished oldest existing professional baseball park in America was spotlighted on national television hosting a major league game between the San Francisco Giants and the St. Louis Cardinals. Also, more than 50 former Negro League players also lined the 114-year-old Rickwood Field. They were being recognized for their place in baseball history. Retired legends and Hall of Famers were also a part of the electric and exciting atmosphere. Rickwood was filled with pageantry and unbelievable emotions. The expectation also was to honor Baseball Hall of Famer and Alabama native Willie Mays. But a few days before the game, Mays' doctor recommended due to health concerns that Willie, now 93 years old, should sit this one out and not make the trip from San Francisco. Then unexpectedly and shockingly, Willie Mays died. The road to Rickwood was originally designed to be a tribute to the Negro Leagues and Rickwood Field where Willie Mays started his professional career with the Birmingham Black Barons in 1948. Mays passing turned it though into much more, including a glorious celebration of his life. Our guest today is also an Alabama born and raised great Major League Baseball player. He was also a friend and teammate of Willie Mays. His all-star career led to his induction into the New York Mets Hall of Fame, the New York State Baseball Hall of Fame, the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame, and a member of the Mobile Sports Hall of Fame as well. Now we also must include the New York Mets all-time left fielder, Cleon Jones. He joins us on Perspectives today. After a quick break, we'll hear Cleon Jones's thoughts of Willie Mays, the man and the baseball great. Perspectives continues in just a moment. Our very special guest today, Cleon Jones. Of course, hopefully if you're a Mobilian, you know about all of the tremendous accolades that have been uh, put out for Cleon over the years. And he's also a big community activist doing things for the children and the families of Africa Town. And we were just talking today, I was asking you, uh, where was Angela, your wife of more than 50 years? And you said, well, she's taking care of the camp for the kids <laughs> while I do this for you. So we thank you, Cleon, for coming back after all of your great years in the major leagues and also being a staunch supporter of making sure things were happening here in your hometown and your city. I guess, uh, Tell me first, as we talk about Willie Mays, what did uh, your first response and reaction be when you heard the news of his passing? Because you were anticipating seeing him again in Birmingham. Yeah, actually, uh, <clears throat> I talked to uh, Michael, uh, Willie's son, uh, about coming to Birmingham and, and seeing Willie. But I wanted to make sure that uh, uh, Willie was strong enough to make the trip because mm -hmm. we had talked about it the week before. Uh, that the doctors uh, didn't believe he was able mm -hmm. to withstand uh, the trip. Because so he was he, coming from San Francisco, He's coming right? from San Francisco. And they had chartered a plane and everything uh, to get him to Birmingham. And we made plans to go to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And then I got a call from the New York Mets saying, uh, we don't believe uh, Willis going to make it. Do you still want to make the trip? I said, well, if Willis not going to be there, uh, I got too much to do here at Mobile. Uh, in the community. In the community. <laughs> I, I, I'll set this up. Uh -huh. And uh, so we, we decided, uh, and I, again, I, I spoke with Michael, and uh, a day later, uh, we lost Willie. Mm. Uh, so uh, that, that came as a total surprise mm -hmm. because... Uh, you, you see this guy, even at 90 years of age, he, he, he looks like the picture of health. Yeah. He, he's strong, strong will, mm -hmm. and the only problem that he had uh, was that he wasn't seeing well. But uh, other than that, uh, uh, he was strong, and yeah, I, you thought he would live forever. Right, you right. Know? 
<laughs> just like as a baseball player, you yeah. thought he would play forever. Right, and right. what would the game be like without him? Yes. So, and, and we know now that uh, even our great and greatest uh, leave us. Yeah. And, and we, we mourn and uh, <clears throat> we think about all the things that they contribute to this country and mm -hmm. what a difference they made. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, life goes on and, yeah. and uh, God knows best. Yeah. Well, he came along, too, when you talk about the contributions to America. He came along at a time when uh, doors were opening and things were changing and people were having to address some of the problems in the country. Let's go back. How long had you guys known each other? Because I knew you played together, but both being from Alabama, how, how long had you well, had a relationship? Well, uh, <clears throat> I've known Willie all of my life mm -hmm. because uh, I idolized him uh, as a young player. Uh, going back uh, as far as nine or ten years of age, wow. uh, you know, the same as Hank. Uh -huh. And and so when when I got to the big leagues, uh, the door, like you said, w was partly open because Willie McCover was on the team with Willie. Mm -hmm. So when my second ball game, my second at bat in the big leagues, uh -huh. came from the Giants. Oh, okay. Uh, at Polo Grounds. Uh, playing uh, the Giants with Willie Mays and Willie oh, McCovey. Oh, so they were still in New York at that time. No, they was in San Francisco, the but the okay. Mets. Oh, the Mets, okay. We're the playing Mets were still ground. at Polo okay. Grounds, right. Okay. So th this goes back to 1963. <laughs> yeah. All right. So then uh, 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 Willie McCovey introduced me to Willie Mays, and, and I, you know, <laughs> I was at all. I, I, I looked at this guy, and I said, you know, good God Almighty. Yeah. And uh, I could relate to uh, McCovey, mm -hmm. but I, I, I just didn't feel like I, I could stand beside this guy <laughs> and shake his hand. <laughs> right, right. And, and, and I'm part of this game yeah. that he does so well. Yeah, you're now in the big right. leagues as well. Right. And for those who may not remember, Willie McCovey is also a mobile. He's a mobile. Right. And, and an all star. Yeah. Uh, so uh, being uh, with the New York Mets, uh, uh, with the Mets struggling the way they were and the Giants were a great ball club. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know, after meeting him and sat there and watched him take batting practice, uh, uh, it, it was amazing wow. uh, what the kind of uh, display they put on yeah. in batting practice and, and, and uh, hitting the ball out of the ballpark mm. and, and with, with, with uh, relatively easy strokes, <laughs> right. you know. And he was multi-talented, both Well, he, he's and the most talented player mm -hmm. that I ever witnessed. Uh, a lot of players have the three twos, we call right. the three twos. Mm -hmm. uh, strong arm, can run, and great bat speed, uh -huh. all right? But Willie had that, that other thing that most people don't have. He had that baseball instinct yes. that, that, that uh, made, it, made a difference. And, and what I mean by that is... <clears throat> Uh, oftentimes, when if you sit in the dugout and someone hit a fly ball to center field, uh, you look up. Will is already <laughs> after the ball. Right. You, 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 most outfielder, when the ball is hit, you can see them take off. But he was already oh. on his way, you know, to the yeah, fly ball. Yeah. And you wonder how he got behind the ball all the time to make that famous basket catch. Right. And that's not an easy thing to do. No, I, sir. I, I tried a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Ball ended up hitting me in my chest. Oh. But, but uh, th this guy was just fantastic. And look, I, you know, Hank is my boy, Hank Aaron. Yeah. Uh, and, and I idolize him. Uh, but when you put these two together, uh, if you get one or the other, right, right. <laughs> you got the best in the game. Well, I have to admit that when I was growing up, of course, being an Atlanta kid, an Atlanta Braves fan, and a Hank Aaron fan, uh, whenever the Giants came, I was always like, well, Hank's going <laughs> to show him, you know, that yeah. kind of thing, because we were just so um, supportive of Hank always. But, yeah. yeah, you're right, the talent, just unbelievable. And, and I want to also give you credit, because you were known for a strong arm, in the left field and you played not just left field you also played center and right depending on what year it was in your career so yeah well I, I played all the th three positions I started out as a center field uh -huh. uh, I went to right field because I had a strong arm uh, but I ended up in left field and that's probably the best thing ever happened to me 
uh, it, it's a easier field. Well, all of them are easy, <laughs> but uh, 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 when you got a great center fielder like Willie Mays or Tommy Agee, then it, it, it makes my position easy. Right. <laughs> and another Mobilian, <laughs> another Tommy Mobilian. Agee. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so uh, ha having that kind of talent around you, and I tell everybody, uh, uh, winning the World Series was probably the number one thing that happened to me in baseball. Uh -huh. But being a part of an all-star uh, with the guys that you're talking about, right, Hank Aaron, right. William McCubbin, three guys from Mobile wow. in a starting lineup <laughs> in an all-star all game. game. All right, My that, that's that's amazing. No, did Willie? What did Willie McCovey play? Willie was first baseman. First baseman, right? Right. Okay. Right. All right. That is just awesome. And did you learn anything about the hitting from Willie? Because you were also a very good hitter. Well, we, yeah, you, you learn by watching. Uh, there, there was no one better to watch as a hitter than Hank. Uh, Willie was a great hitter, uh, but Willie was more arms than than Hank. Hank was more hands and hips. Wow! Right, but so, uh, but you could you could learn from each of them on uh, when to take control. Mm -hmm. uh, m most guys think the pitchers in control, but good hitters know that they're in control. All right, hold on that point. <laughs> yeah, on that point, we're gonna come back and talk even more. And of course, uh, very special guest today, Cleon Jones, sharing about Willie Mays as well as some of our other great Mobilians, along with Cleon's career with the Mets and. We are definitely glad to have you here today and sharing with us. Perspectives, we'll continue in just a moment when we come back with Cleon Jones talking about Major League Baseball and Willie Mays. Yeah. Well, yeah. Welcome back. We're talking about Willie Mays and Major League Baseball and, of course, many other baseball greats from the Mobile area. Willie was from Birmingham and Fairfield and, uh, of course, uh, Alabama. So many of you all great players. Now, can you talk briefly about the uh, uh, players from the Negro Leagues who were able to come out and celebrate Willie Mays at Rick Wood Field for that uh, very special tribute? And one player was 99 years old and still able to make it there to this celebration. Yeah, well, it, it just goes to show you. <clears throat> uh, Negro baseball w was uh, quite a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, uh, uh, Satchel Page and Josh Gibson, mm -hmm. uh, Cool Papa Bell, and Austin Charleston, people like this, uh, were great players. All right, uh, we, we look at Jackie Robinson, who came from that league. Jackie was the best person to take on the test. That right. They took. But he wasn't the nearly player. the best player. Right, right. Wasn't nearly the yeah. best player. It took a special uh, man to endure what he did. Yeah. Certainly, and he uh, and he did it well. Uh, I don't know if Satchel could have done that. I don't think I, so. I, I don't <laughs> know if Josh. I Gibson. couldn't have done either. I don't no, think. No, and neither could I. <laughs> right. I. I never could have taken what Jackie yeah. went through. Uh, I don't think I'm strong enough. But uh, that shows you uh, the character of uh, Branch Rickey, mm -hmm. who had that faith in Jackie. Uh, to put him in that situation, uh, uh, he was well educated. Yes. Uh, uh, he had all the talent, and uh, he he was a strong will person. So when you look at Jackie, you you, you say, uh, how did he take that with such strong will that he had? Because he he, he didn't knuckle on anybody mm -hmm. at any time, but he had a job to do, and he was able to do it. Thank God yes, for Rachel, yes. his wife. Yes. Thank God for Rachel. I've had the yeah. pleasure of meeting and being with her before, and right. she's a special lady. Right. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, Willie Mays, he started his career with the Birmingham Black Barons in the Negro Leagues. What type of transition was it for him to make it into the majors from that? Because he was still, what, a teenager, right? Oh, yeah. Well, well <clears throat> he, he was probably eight, 18, 18 years <laughs> okay. old. Uh, and, and when he got to the big leagues, what he was 20, 21. So uh, to mold him into a major leaguer uh, wasn't hard. It, wa it was hard for him because he wanted to do so much so quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, his first year in the big leagues, he struggled a little bit, but uh, Leo Rocha told him, <laughs> We don't worry about you. We worry about everybody else on this team. <laughs> right. You're going to be all right. Yeah, yeah. And then he hit, hit his first home run off Juan Spawn. Oh. And, and 
it, it's history from there. Wow. So now who was Spawn playing for them? Was it uh, the Milwaukee, Milwaukee Braves? Milwaukee Braves okay. at that time. Yeah. So so Willie, uh, uh, like Hank, uh, even at uh, that rookie years, everybody knew that they they would be great, but nobody knew how great right, they right. they would be. So when I look at Alabama and I look at all the the uh, great players that come from, we probably had the greatest pitcher that ever lived, Satchel Page. Mm -hmm. We know we have two of the greatest outfielders that ever played the game. Uh, it's, the better, it's debatable whether or not they're the greatest, mm -hmm. but they, they're in the top three or four. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> Those two guys, right. <laughs> and then you got Billy Williams, who, who, who also uh, now, was a great. Are you and Billy related or your wife? My wife Angela and Billy, and Billy. are related. Okay. Uh, they're cousins. Yeah. Uh, Wow. And, then, and so then you got McCubbin, you got Ozzie Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we talk about Heroes Park and, and what we're doing here in Mobile mm -hmm. uh, to celebrate the sports in general. Yeah. Uh, well, before we go into that one, hold it just a second on that one, cause, and cause I want to make sure you got to share about the special time you had in New York after Willie's passing. They wanted uh, to do something in New York, and so they definitely wanted to make sure you were a part of that. So you and your wife, Angela, went up to New York. Tell us about that. Well, that that's, uh, we got a call uh, after uh, Willie uh, death, uh, and we didn't make it to Birmingham. Uh, New York Mets called and said, uh, we want you to come uh, to, to New York to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Willie, you were closer uh, to anybody, you know, on the team, mm -hmm. and uh, w would you do that? So Michael called me, his son, said, I, I'd love to have you up here with me. It, it helped me yeah. throw out the first pitch and, mm. and, and celebrate. Uh -huh. uh, I said, we'll, we'll be there. Uh, next day, we flew out uh, to New York. And <coughs> we, uh, w when you get there, and you, you see the sun, mm -hmm. and you think about the man uh, and, and what he contributed to, to the game. Mm -hmm. and. You think in terms of now who, who's who's better at any time than this guy was mm -hmm. when I saw him. Mm -hmm. uh, that it, I, I can't think of anybody. All right. So then again, when I say have all the tools uh, to be as great as he was and to be as humble, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I never I, I, my locker was right beside his. Uh, we were locker mates, so mm -hmm. to speak. I, I never saw him curse or get angry mm. about anything and I did it all the time <laughs> <laughs> I, but he, but uh, he came to the ballpark each and every day to play even at that age uh, uh, he, he, he was uh, when his knee was knees was were fine mm -hmm. he, he was the same Willie Mays at 40 41 wow. uh, and I, I marvel at uh, the way he looked at the game mm -hmm. uh, you, you come to play each and every day and and, and uh, mentally, <coughs> he was there. He was there, and, and he retired from the Mets. He yeah. at last he was at well, seventy three. Well, he, he he retired from the Mets. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to World Series that year. Okay. He had he, that was his second year with the Mets, uh -huh. and we went to World Series. We lost in seven games to Oakland. Uh, I always thought we should have won. Right, that, right. But <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, ha having Willie as part of that team, that was a good way for him to retire, mm -hmm. to come back to the city in which he began his uh, wow. career. And our owner, Mrs. Patient, were uh, the person that, that wanted to see him come back mm -hmm. because she was a, a New York Giants fan mm -hmm. and had stock in the Giants. Right. But she was a principal owner of the Mets, so she wanted her Willie right. to come back to New York <laughs> and retire in New Return York. There. Right. We've got about two minutes. Let's talk about Legends Park. Yeah. Uh, Heroes Park. Heroes Park. Heroes yeah, Park yeah. Uh, uh, is a brainstorm of everybody, not not of Cleon Jones, not not of the mayor, not of Monique Rogers. It, it's a brainstorm of, of all of us. We 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 know that what what we have here uh, in the state of Alabama, great athletes, mm -hmm. uh, heroes and sheroes. All right, uh, Heroes Park would be the display. Of, of all of those, mm -hmm. not just baseball, but football, mm -hmm. uh, swimming, uh, uh, tennis, and golf. Uh, again, it, it, it'll be, uh, uh, we say heroes, mm -hmm. 
but th there will be sheroes mm -hmm. uh, 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 as part of it. And, and thanks to uh, our mayor, uh, this has taken place uh, sometime next year. Okay. Uh, uh, you'll see and the they've five already started fingers. breaking ground well, and construction. The, the, yeah, the, it, it's been under work now for months. Okay. Uh, to prep the ground mm -hmm. for the statues. I heard uh, rumors that some of the statues have been completed. Well, two of the two of the statues <laughs> okay. are here. Okay. And then we, we'll get uh, the others next month or the, or the month after that. Uh, and uh, Robert Brazil, uh, yes. which is our hero, uh, yeah. as related to uh, NFL Hall Dr. of Famer. Doing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, he, he'll be in that park and, and well deserved. Uh, certainly, uh, uh, it's something that Mobilians can be proud of, uh, and and we should know our history. Right, we, we should Very know important. all our, our great heroes yeah. and sheroes. We, well, Cleon, we're going to make sure that uh, before that opens up, we'll have you back and we'll talk more about that because. Never enough time. We've run out of time. But thank you so much for coming and sharing about Willie Mays and, of course, the times and the major leagues that uh, you have the personal time with him and other greats that we've talked about. We always appreciate you and glad you're still here and doing all the great things that you're doing. Well, I'm glad I'm still here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for having me. Always, thanks for having me. Always. At, at my age, uh, it's good to be anywhere. Well, you know what I mean? You're doing <laughs> great things still, yeah. so we do appreciate that. And of course, uh, you want to know more about Cleon Jones, get his autobiography, Coming Home, My Amazing Life with the New York Mets. He published that in August of 2022. And of course, that's available to tell more about the great man that you are. We thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you. All thank right. you. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Perspectives. Yeah. Yeah.